Alright, so today we're looking at some of the best free software Discord alternatives slash free software chat applications. Now, do bear in mind there are a ton of programs I could potentially talk about. Some of them good, some of them not so good, but I can't go over all of them today because this video would be way too long otherwise. And I also think giving too many options or giving options that are too similar to each other isn't all that helpful. So I've rounded this list down to four programs. The first program I'm going to talk about is Revolt Chat, which I'm just going to call Revolt. I'm starting with this one because out of all the programs on this list, this one is the most similar to Discord. Revolt is basically Discord if it was free software and everyone had Nitro. And the experience of using Revolt is very similar to Discord but with a lot more customization. Not just for your profile, but also for the client. So if you and your friends are looking for an easy to use Discord alternative, Revolt might be your best bet. Now Revolt has a TOS, but it's nowhere near as restrictive as Discord, and it basically boils down to don't do anything illegal, or anything that harms other people. And since Revolt is free software, they let you do things that Discord doesn't, like use third party clients. In terms of privacy, you do need an email address to sign up for Revolt, but you can use any email address without any hassle, unlike Discord who make you give out your phone number if you're using an uncommon domain. You also don't need a phone number for two-factor authentication, you can just use any authenticator app. And arguably the best part of Revolt is the pirate speak language option, how cool is that? It also supports things like server roles, custom emotes, and a proper friends list. You've got no friends! It does have a few downsides though. For one, while it can be self-hosted, it isn't federated, and for practical reasons you'll probably use the official servers. Additionally, Revolt doesn't support end-to-end -end encryption. I'm aware Discord doesn't support it either, but it's a highly desirable feature, though they claim they'll be adding end-to-end -end encryption in the future. Also, Revolt doesn't support screen sharing or video calls at the moment, though if they added video chat you could technically do a screen recording with OBS Virtual Camera. And there's also no app on it for iOS at the moment. The next alternative is Matrix. So Matrix is a messaging protocol rather than a specific service or client, and while it isn't as Discord-like as Revolt, there are a few reasons why I prefer Matrix. For one, Matrix is decentralized. Matrix home servers are run by hundreds if not thousands of small groups, and you can even run the Matrix setup software on your own server. So there's no person or group who has authority over Matrix, unlike Discord where all the servers are run by Discord themselves. Matrix is also federated, which means you can talk to people whose accounts are registered on other home servers. A bit like how a Gmail user can send an email to an Outlook user. Matrix also supports true end-to-end -end encryption. You can register an account anonymously because you don't need a phone number or email address, and most Matrix home servers have a generous 100 megabyte file size limit. On Discord it's 8 megabytes unless you unironically pay for Nitro, and on Revolt it's around 20 megabytes. The main downside with Matrix is that it's not straightforward to use as Revolt, because you get to choose the server and the client. Another thing I don't like is Element. While you can technically use any client, a lot of them lack features like the ability to make voice or video calls, and so a lot of people just end up using Element, which some people find a bit slow and bloated. There are also some minor things about Matrix that could be a bit confusing for Discord users. For example, instead of having server channels and group chats, you have rooms, and you can group rooms into what's called a space. The third alternative is Signal. Now, I was a bit hesitant to mention Signal because it's not really a Discord alternative, it's more like an alternative to WhatsApp or Telegram, but that may just be what you're looking for. Signal is arguably the most popular program on this list, and it's possible that somebody you know might already be using it. It's become quite popular because it's been endorsed by people like Edward Snowden, a former CIA whistleblower who unsurprisingly takes his privacy and security very seriously as it's a necessity for him. 
The main advantages of Signal are that it's easy to use and video calls are a bit more streamlined compared to Matrix. And just like Matrix, it does support end-to-end -end encryption. But I think the main downside of Signal is the fact that you need a phone number to register an account. So it's harder to sign up anonymously. And it also means you can only talk on Signal if your phone is online. Another thing worth noting is that while the client side is open source, the server side isn't, or it's only partially open source. Also, Signal is completely centralized. You cannot self-host it in any capacity. And the last program I'm going to talk about is Mumble. Now, unlike the other programs, which are primarily text-based, Mumble is a voiceover IP program at heart. It's essentially a FOSS version of TeamSpeak. Now, there are no accounts on Mumble, you just type in the IP address of the server you want to talk on, and then join a voice channel. You'll be asked to type a username, but this isn't logging into an account. This is just for other people to know who you are, so you can just type anything here. By the way, if you host a Mumble server on a local network, like in an office or for a LAN party, you can actually have voice comms without an internet connection. Now, I personally like Mumble quite a lot actually but the lack of private messaging, accounts, and contacts means it's not the kind of program you'd use on its own. You'd use it in combination with other programs. So if one of my friends uses Matrix, one of my friends uses Discord, and one of them doesn't use either of them, they can all download Mumble and join the same call. In any case, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, cheerio.